Thimbleberries and, and salmonberries. Shoots. The shoots. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us. Today's episode is gonna be all about salmon berries and thimbleberry shoots, which is uh, something we looked up on YouTube and we couldn't find very many, if any, videos at all. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be an exciting ep episode. The way it's been working is we've been going out to the field and foraging, and then we say a couple facts about what we're foraging, and then we cook it up and eat it. So like a forage, a fact, and a feast. Yes. I like it. And if you guys haven't subscribed, um, please do so and turn on the, the notifications so you guys get notified when we upload a video. Yeah. How often are we put a, how often are we gonna do a video? Every uh, Sunday, if not sooner. You still do this part. Oh. I'm just Thanks. joking. <laughs> and there's mosquitoes. No there's oh, skeeters everywhere. everywhere. It's crazy. In the whole Normally they're like a single poking out of the ground. You mm. can look to see the color too, and then if you touch the needles and they're soft, or at yeah, least like see. not stabbing you, oh, yeah. you're golden. And you can see the leaves too, like the new growth and the mare stems. You're literally just like grabbing it and like taking all this stuff off. Oh, it's like, it looks almost fun. Is it fun, Dutch? It's so fun. It's not really it sounds like right. Dad. Try it, bite. Yeah, it's like really tender. It's mm. like super tender. Mmm, that's sweet. That's good. Sigh! Judah doesn't have boots! There's a thicket I found. You did your walk? Opens to the east and a mosque. <laughs> Always identify the plants you eat before you eat them. It's a good idea to do that. Uh, otherwise, you may die in the woods. <laughs> We're looking for the ones that are brand new, that are just shooting up out of the ground, um, not the older ones. Yeah, so uh, both of these plants are in the uh, Rosaceae family. It also includes the apple, <laughs> all sorts of good stuff to eat. So the apples, rose. uh, roses, like rose hips, uh, cherries, cherries, um, all sorts of, what am I thinking of? The thing with the, the, the pear, pear pears, blackberries, blackberries, raspberries, all sorts of stuff. Yes. So lots of cool stuff in that family to eat. And so we have Rubus spectabilis and Ooh. Rubus parviflora. Both of them have berries that are awesome. The salmon berries flower, or salmon berries form first. They have these cool purple flowers, and then the thimble berries have white flowers, and it'll be soon after. But the very first berries that are ripe, and then soon after the, the secondary berries of the thimble berries are ripe. And so, really cool uh, foods for the spring because you can eat the shoots, and then not too far thereafter, you're getting some fruits from each plant. And we had not eaten the shoots before. We've, there's lots and lots of reports. Um, ethnobotanical reports of First Nations and indigenous peoples all over the coast uh, utilizing the shoots. So just about every tribe that I've come in contact with or read about has utilized the shoots um, extensively. And so we wanted to give it a try. And so this was our first whirl. Because they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. So uh, how cool is it that we can forage something that you can literally walk down your driveway and find? So we're going to keep this super brief. Uh, Cause we don't want to just like spend a bunch of time talking. We're going to like, we're going to show you the foraging that we did. We're going to cook it up and try it. And at the end of the video, there's going to be the thumbs up, thumbs down. Would you eat it again?
Ridiculous. They're really good. Mom, you have to try some of those. It's like, it's silly. That is good. Mm. It is like caramel, Kaden. Candy cane? Yeah. Yummy. All right. Sauteed. Good. Really good. Raw. I like them raw too. Candied. <laughs> Best candied. <laughs> Would you eat them again? Yes. Sauteed. Delicious. I really like the sauteed. Raw. Pretty good. Not as good as sauteed. Candied. Best. <laughs> Sai. Would you eat it again? No. Judah, what do you think? Judah won't get out of them. Dad is a thumbs up for sauteed. Probably my favorite. Raw's pretty good too. Candied is like ridiculous, but that doesn't even compete. No bueno on any of the leaves. We tried to uh, blanch and then saute the leaves. Maybe with a little more experimentation, but neither the salmon berries nor the thimble berries were good this go around. Fuzzy, like a fuzziness, fuzzy, mushy taste to the thimbleberry and the salmonberry, just like not great. A couple things to point out. After we've done our full taste test, everyone's on board with eating these again. They're good. When you harvest them, don't get the second growth off other plants. You want them coming straight from the ground. If you can't break them easily with your thumb and forefinger, don't bother. So. Tenderness is probably the most important factor of these tasting really good. If they're woody at all, it's like it's just like it's not as good. And there's a bitterness to the woody ones too. So um, make sure they're coming straight out of the ground. Brand new growth. <laughs> so I likes it. Uh, and enjoy. Enjoy your life.